Hello, Gladys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Gladys? Fine, Gladys. Okay, let's start with the lesson, right? Okay, thank you so much for coming early, Gladys. Let's start then. Okay, um, remember that we have this activity, right? Did you complete this activity, Gladys? Completamos this activity? Okay. Completamos, did you finish, Gladys? Yes or no? Creo que la hice alguna de esas. What did you, ah, you mentioned about the beach. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Or no? I'm not sure. No. No? No. So, can you share? Yes, share. Yes. Mm. Uh, hice como, un, como una descripción, como un, como un concepto. Ok, ok. No fui, no fui haciéndolos por número. Uh -huh. Can you share with us? Podemos compartirlo? Okay. Okay, thank you. Last, last year I, I spent my holiday in the beaches with my family. I traveled with some of my daughters. We arrived in the in the town at 10 a.m. We in, immediately ran to the radar and roasted meat for lunch. After lunch, we go for a room um cook mangoes to eat light chili and limon solamente okay that's it okay thank you gladys just one sentence eh, vamos a revisar this sentence como estamos hablando in the past we are going to say, I went, right? Fuimos. Or a walk, right? I went. Mm -hmm. I went, right? En el caso que solo usted ha ido. En el caso que fue con su familia, we went, right? We went for a walk. fuimos a caminar. Mm -hmm. En el caso que fuimos a correr, the past, right, of, uh, of Brown. So in this case, it is going to be uh, with letter A. Okay, thank you, Gladys. Okay. Okay, alguien más, somebody else who didn't present yesterday? Hmm? Alguien más, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. So thank you again, Gladys. Let's go back to the lesson. And uh, let's see what activities are missing, right? Okay, so today we're going to start with this topic. We're going to talk about the neighborhoods, because in that is the neighborhoods. So we have downtown, that it is like the center, right? As we say, or yeah, what you have in the middle of the city. And then we have like Main Street, then we have the suburbs, a shopping district, we have the college campus, for example. It is like related to the university, the college. Then we have the business district, we have the theater and district, 
you have the these are like the areas you have an industrial district and small town small town yes like more los, los pueblos we can say that like like a small town so what types of business are or aren't found in these neighborhoods or which areas do you visit often which areas do you hardly ever visit and why okay, for example in my case the places that I, let's say, often visit, I often visit small towns because I like the people in the small towns, I like the people a lot. So what about you, uh, Alpha? Which areas do you visit most? Uh, do you visit often? Or which areas do you, do you hardly ever visit? Uh, shopping district. Oh, shopping? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> shopping districts for women are the favorite ones, for yeah. sure. <laughs> what about a business district? Uh, don't you go, for example, to a business district or a theater, for example? A mm. <clears throat> uh, business district. Oh, a business. In the case of your work, it can be right. For example, that there can be factories or, for example, enterprises that they have. Okay, thank you, Alpha. What about uh, you, Mario Claros? Um, which areas do you visit often? And which ones you don't visit? Don't town. The, you don't like or you visit the downtown? I visit. How frequently or how often do you visit the town? <laughs> every every ten years. Every ten years? <laughs> every ten years, really? You don't like to go out. I live in the Morazan Provincial. Okay, that is too hot, right? The weather, if I'm not wrong, the weather. And they and they are like a small town too, right? Okay, como small towns everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, so let's move on. This is the vocabulary for this section. Now let's have this listening. And then let me know what the listening is about. Page 50. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, so what was the listening about? So my dears, um, Amanda, what, what can you tell me from the listening? Um, que dice que creo que se ha llegado a vivir a una nueva ciudad. A una mm -hmm. ciudad. Yeah, to a new city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A la, a la capital este, y le comenta de que hay un parqueo ah ok, there is a parking lot uh -huh. este también creo que de último no sé si escuché mal pero dijo pretty algo de pretty pero no sé si era un parque o, o que era, no, no escuché bien ok, yeah we're going to add that word pretty right the downtown maybe ok Thank you, Amanda. So any other idea, gentlemen, about the listening? Um, uh, I just uh, remember mm -hmm. uh, the neighbor is pretty safe. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, right. The, the neighbor, they are talking about the neighborhood where she moved, just moved on. Okay, let's have a look of the of the script, right? Page. So we can practice this section. So let's listen one more time and again, right? Try to memorize the sounds, the pronunciation, so you can have better one. You can improve that part. Let's listen one more time and try to mimic, right? The, the phrases, the, the intonation, and the words. Let's listen. Page 53. It's pretty safe. Page 53, X safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. That can happen, right? We, when we are living in a new place, we don't know about the noise and everything like that. Hey, let's uh, practice, right? Can you be, uh, let's listen now to, maybe you can help me. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Gloria, can you be a Pam, Gloria? And uh, maybe a Joelman can be Nick. Okay, ready, guys? <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you like your new apartment? I love it downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. Can you back there? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Joelman and Gloria. Okay, we have the word here. Aisle, right? Aisle, call aisle, aisle with a. No, no, we teach them, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. We are practicing, right? Thank and, you. Uh, to you, uh, to you. Okay, then we have, for example, the word convenient. Convenient. Okay, so uh, is there a group, right? A part, a person who wants to read this section so you can practice and see which ways we can improve. So is there a person who wants to read? Volunteers? No volunteers? Okay, so let's move on. Uh, is there a word that maybe you don't know? Alguna palabra, any word guys? Any word? Noise teacher, que significa? <laughs> Is Sorry. Noise. Oh, noise, noise, noise. Just oh, this one. Is there too much noise? Como hay demasiado ruido? Is there too much noise? Okay. I need noise. Como se pronuncia garage? Garages. Garages, right? You have to pronounce the letter S too. Okay. Okay. Any other guys? In, in fact, um, uh, not in fact, there is excellent. 
in fact, oh, a lot, oh, a lot, in fact, in fact, de hecho, in fact, okay. there is an excellent, hay un, un restaurante eh, muy bueno, coreano, right? A place, sorry, mm -hmm. just around the corner. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is the hecho. Okay, thank you. Okay. So these are the words, right? Uh, we are talking about neighborhoods. Is your neighborhood, let's say, safe or noise or dangerous? Is your place or neighborhood, right? Your place of living safe or dangerous? What can you tell me, Alpha, in your case? What can you tell me? Lo que pregunta ahí. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, in my play is, como podría decir tranquilo? Y, oh, that's very good one. It is quiet. It is quiet. Mm -hmm. It is My quiet. It's quiet. Your place is quiet, okay? And nowadays it is much quiet, right? Okay, thank you, Alpha. What can you tell me about your place of living, hey, Amanda? What can you tell me? My place is... Or my neighborhood can be too. My neighborhood, my neighborhood. My Tell me. Neighborhood. That's it, right. Um, it, I don't say. Oscuro, voy a decir dark. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> okay, it is dark. It can be, it is isolated, right? Isolated too. It can be that one, right? Okay, thank you, Amanda. So what about your place of living, Gladys? Is it, for example, dangerous? Is it safe? Is it quiet? Is it dark? Or how is your neighborhood like, Gladys? Hello, Gladys, are you there? So let's continue, right? We have some of the words that we can use when we are talking about neighborhoods. So when we're talking about the downtowns or apartments. So let's move on to the grammar section. I'm sorry, Gladys, I see you are there. Um, I don't know if you want to answer the previous question. Hello? Okay. So let's continue then. We have the grammar section, right? Okay, remember that yesterday we started with the, some of the words, right? Using there is, there are, uh, we also study any, many, and yes, these words. So we have a review, right? Maybe you studied this before. Tenemos, we have the count nouns, the palabras contables, right? Uh, we have, for example, that we can use many. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Say, hay muchos, right? Yes, there are a few, hay pocos. Or we can say, no, there aren't many, no hay muchos. Or also we can say, no, there aren't any. No hay ninguno, no hay nada. Or we can say, there are none. But it is the same as these ones. So we have with noun count words. Uh, palabras que son incontables. For example, which words are uncountable? We have, for example, crime. We have water. We have cosas que no podemos contar, right? Salt, we have sugar. We have butter. Okay, entonces when we have, for example, these words that are non-count or uncountables, 
We have to use is there y la palabra match, right? Nos va a identificar que es una palabra incontable. So we can, we can use, yes, there is a lot, hay mucho. Yes, there is a little, hay poco. No, there isn't much, no hay mucho. There isn't any, no hay, right? And the same, right? There's none. Do you have questions, guys, about this section? No sé si hay dudas. No questions, okay. So, and then we have WH, right? How many? Cuando estemos utilizando how many, cuántos, right? La palabra que le sigue tiene que ser contable. How many books are there? How many restaurants are there? Y en el caso de que we have non-count words, we have to use how much. How much crime is there? And there is a lot of the street crime. Let's work with this section. And I want you to answer this section in the chat box. Vamos a responder esta sección in the chat box. Okay, so uh, please write, for example, number one your answer, then number two, and so on, okay? So let's do it in the chat box, and then I will be checking your answers. Teacher, mm -hmm. I had a question. Tell me. Yes, uh, could you explain, for example, number one, uh, I, at the moment, is it's difficult. Okay, is there this one, the exercise? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, for example, is there much parking? Hay mucho parqueo? Is there much mm -hmm. parking? In the place where you live, right? For example, in my house, in my neighborhood, no, there isn't much parking. Mm -hmm. In my case, but puede ser que en su caso sea diferente, right? Se puede decir, yes, there is a lot. Yes, hay mucho, right? But that depends of the place where you live. Uh -huh. No sé si le... Eh, okay. okay. For example, there is, there is a negative, either there is, there is a lot, it's positive. Positive, that's right. Sí. Eh, digamos la respuesta sería only es esas de the reason o the the oh in the case that we are talking uncountable yes there uh -huh. is es or, this is uncountable porque estamos utilizando ah, match match mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, bueno. thank okay. you okay Okay, let's do the, the answers, right? Let's write the answers in the chat box, okay, guys? I'll be reading your responses.
Okay, don't forget, no olvidemos, please, to use the words, right, that we are studying. No olvidemos utilizar, for example, a lot, a few, many, or any. En el caso de que sea uncountable, we have to use a lot, a little, and the words we have here, right? Okay, so try to make it longer. Para los que acaban de entrar, we are answering this section. Estamos respondiendo this section in the chat box, okay? So I'm going to give you, let's say, two more minutes, okay? Dos minutos más, and then I'll be checking the answer. Dicha es verdad que dijo que lo escribiéramos en el chat. En el chat box, así es Amanda, en el chat box. Y no se le va a olvidar escribir el número, right? Preguntas, por ejemplo, ¿cómo lo está haciendo Gloria? Number one, the answer, then number two, and so on. Ok. Y recordemos que son de la 1 a la 8, right? We have to answer all of them. De la 1 a la 8, from 1 to 8. Teacher, ¿verdad que las que terminan en S son contables? ¿verdad? Así es. Palabras que terminan en S son contables. La mayoría. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok.
Okay, guys, time is over. I'm going to check the ones that you have there. Y luego les voy a preguntar to each of you. So what happened? Okay, what happened, guys? You didn't write the answers. Okay. I'm going to start with uh, some of you to um, this part. Okay, it says uh, number two, right? We already answered number one. So number two, um, let's see. Um, Amanda, number two, please, what do you have? Are there many apartment buildings? What do you have in that one? My answer is no, there are no, 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 there are no, 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 so thank you, Amanda. What about number three? What about number three? What do you have a glad? I don't know, Gladys. Are you there, Gladys? Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm checking yours, Alpha. Sela number one. Okay, number one. Yeah. Okay, the palabra parking. Okay, we have la palabra parking, right? La palabra parking, si lo buscamos en el diccionario, es una palabra incontable. Entonces, por lo tanto, vamos a utilizar there is. Podemos decir yes, there is a lot, right? There is a lot. Habla solo de un parqueo o, o de un... Entendí como un... Es, que es como un conjunto. Es como, es como un conjunto. Usualmente las palabras que se toman como conjunto las toman como incontables. Por eso okay. es que parking se toma como una palabra incontable. Uh, parking. Okay. Okay. Por eso es que estamos utilizando there is in that case. Ok, let's see number three. How much traffic is there? What's your answers? Okay, that's right. No, there other isn't, right? Other, podemos responder, no, there isn't much. Much traffic. We can say much traffic too. Okay. We can add that. Estamos utilizando there isn't, the other is, porque estamos utilizando la palabra traffic, right? And traffic is incontable. Okay, so what about number three? Let's see the ones you have. Okay, how many dance clubs are there? Muy bien, la mayoría lo hizo. How many? How many? Okay, tengamos cuidado porque ahí no vamos a responder con un sí o un no. Nos está, nos está pidiendo cuántos, hay right? una cantidad. How many dance clubs? Okay, entonces le está diciendo cuántos. There are, digamos que there are two, two dance clubs. Tengamos cuidado with the questions, right? Okay, there are two dance clubs. Is there much noise? Veamos sus respuestas. Okay, eso está bastante bien. No, there isn't, right? Too much noise. Let's see number four. Are there many pay phones? Let's see. Yes. Are there? No, there. Okay, no nos olvidemos el verbo to be, right? No, there aren't any. Or none, right? Or no, there aren't many. Is there much pollution? Let's see your answers. Mm -hmm. No, there isn't any or no, there isn't much, right? No, there isn't much. 
or how many swimming pools. Oh, tengamos cuidado, right? Tengamos cuidado. Let's see. No, no. Utilicemos there is and there are, okay? There is a little. Let's see, Yolma. No, there are not. Yes, there is. Okay, tengamos cuidado with the answers. Take care. No todas nos está preguntando un sí o un no. Okay. Así que take care. Okay. How many? En este caso, como es how many, nos está preguntando cuántos. How many swimming pools are there? There are. Mm -hmm. There are. There are. En mi caso, como no hay ninguna swimming pool, imaginémonos que no hay ninguna swimming pool in your neighborhood. There aren't any. No hay ninguna. There aren't any. En el caso que sí si usted tenga, right, swimming pools, there are two swimming pools. Ok. Entonces, take care with that. Veo que tenemos ese, eh, ese mistake, right. Ok. Corrijamos eso, please. No, there aren't, but... Okay, do you have questions, guys, about this activity? Take care, right? Tengamos cuidado with the questions. For example, this one, this one. No nos está preguntando un sí o no. Okay. Pero, o sea, eso le va a preguntar, porque como dice, how much? How many, how many, mm -hmm. que es, oh, ajá, que no, no se puede no, o, o, ni no, ni yes. Exacto, y yo ah. acá, I, I made a mistake aquí también, sorry, no me di cuenta, yo también. No vamos a utilizar how much, perdón, no vamos a utilizar el no, right, ahí sí, be careful with that. How much traffic is there? There isn't much traffic, traffic. Cuando usted lo vea como con el verbo to be, ahí sí, right, usted puede responder con un yes, un no. Yes, un no. Ok, uh, I don't know if you have questions, guys. No questions? No, oh. Ok, perfect. Let's move on, right? Let's continue with the activities. Some of the activities, right? Okay, I want you to right now to write a paragraph about your neighborhood, right? Vas a escribir un párrafo about your neighborhood. Describe what type of neighborhood it is and what places are or aren't in your area. Vamos a describir su vecindario, right? Or la colonia where you live. Describe what places, qué lugares we can find in the in the neighborhood. We have the example here. I live in a very nice neighborhood near my office. So I walk or ride my bike to work every morning. It's a very green area with many trees and a small park. It's also very convenient. There is, right, there is a shopping mall behind my building. In the mall, there are two drugstores and so on. Here you have the example. Do you have questions about the activity, guys? Questions? What can we do? You can do it in a Word document. You can do it in the Word document. Or if, uh, you, want, if you can share it in the WhatsApp group. But can read it. Okay, después lo vamos a compartir. In the class too. Okay, no questions. ¿Cuántas palabras? I'm sorry. Lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Yes, right now. Ahorita. Y, uh -huh. ah, solo que como yo estoy en, en el celular, me tendría que salir de la clase para meterme al Word. Bueno, ni sé si tengo Word en el teléfono. <laughs> Oh, you, you can work in, in your notebooks if you have it. And it, later you can take a picture with us. Mm -hmm. Puede trabajar en, si no tenemos Word, eh, you can work that uh, in a notebook too. Okay. okay. 
Okay, of course. Then, guys. Teacher, mm -hmm. I had a question. Tell me, Gloria. Mm -hmm. Similar uh, partner, mm -hmm. I cellular, uh, I don't. You don't have word. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So what we can do is to work in the notebook, and later you can take a picture, right, from WhatsApp. For WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. From oh, okay, for example, there, there is an icon there that where it says uh, share or uh, take a picture, so you can take a picture from there. Okay, we can do that. Yes, okay, same. Okay, also, guys, if you don't have Word or or PowerPoint things that maybe we use, also, we can have them in the Gmail account and so. Cuenta de Gmail, si ustedes tienen una cuenta de Gmail, ahí ustedes pueden utilizar Word y PowerPoint en línea. Ok, ahí está una opción ahí donde usted lo puede utilizar. Eh, estos, estos beneficios que nos da, right? Let me show you. Maybe you know this, but it is good to know, right? Okay, for example, this part. Entonces, lo hacemos en Word, le tomamos foto y después lo mandamos. Mm, ok, if you have it, if you have it in Word, you can take a screenshot too. Podemos tomar un screenshot. Explicaba ah, lo okay. de los compañeros que no tenían. Lo que pueden tomar una imagen también desde su notebook. O si usted quiere trabajar en un documento Word. Y tiene Zoom, perdón, y tiene Gmail, acá le va a aparecer la opción, ¿verdad? Para que usted pueda trabajar en Google Docs. Usted acá puede eh, crear el documento también. You can do that. Y aquí, start working. It is the same as Word, right? Okay, that is another option. I'm giving you a variety, just in case you have opinions, right? Word, no. Or, podemos trabajar también in the notebook, don't worry. Lo que se les haga más easy, right? Remember, recordemos que you have to describe more. Tenemos que describir más, right? About your neighborhood. For example, if you are talking about, let's see, Chachuapa, right? You can describe that there are some, uh, for example, some places to buy, to sell things. Or for example, if there are some parks. Ah, okay, that's much better. Okay, you can add more or incorporate more information. Okay, let's continue.
Excuse me, teacher. Just tell we, me. We write WhatsApp on or in the chat. Okay, I am asking you in the WhatsApp, but if you have problems, you can text me also in the in the group, right? Because I understand that, for example, if you are in the cell phone, maybe you can have some problems. But I'm giving you a lot of chances. So you can do it if it is convenient for you. Mario? Yep. Okay. Okay, do you have them, guys? Teacher, solo mm -hmm. la A o también la B? Uh, only letter, letter B, right? Only letter B. Remember, this is an example. Ah, okay. okay this okay. is an example. We are working with this uh, letter, right? With this part. Okay, let me know if uh, you are ready, guys. Or not yet. I'm reading yours, Gloria. Okay, it, it's um, our remember, Gloria, for example, when you have uh, 
the word there to supermarkets, right? There, there are, right? There are two supermarkets. And don't forget the letter S. No olvidemos la letra S, right? Si, for example, si usted dice there are two supermarkets y omitimos la S, toda la oración estará incorrecta. Así que pay attention to that small letter because it can change the sentence. Okay? Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Gladys, do you have your paragraph? Ya tenemos el paragraph. Uh, Una parte, una parte. One part. Okay. Keep working. Keep working. Let's see another. Okay. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. Let's continue. Try to include more information. Okay. Agreguemos as much information as you can. Okay. Let's see. What about your paragraph? Um, Julman, do you have your paragraph? And just a part. Just a part. How many words approximately? Yeah. What palabras? How many words? I don't know. I, I guess around. Not the, more, more than. Time. More than 20. More than 20. Okay. Okay. Working. Okay, what about you, Mario? Do you have the paragraph? Okay. Do, do you have it, Mario? Do you have it? Okay. Uh, ¿Ya lo tenemos, I Mario? Okay. Sí, I live in Rosario Village. 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 Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. neighborhood is pretty nice and mm -hmm. is small. There are only a few families. There are many trees and fire house. houses. Are there two rivers are after and Torola are invited to come, but only at fact person. What, what do you mean a fake person, Mario? Okay. What, what do you mean? People. <laughs> Are the, invited to come, okay, but people, only at fake people or person. People, only, person. no, only <laughs> it's because I didn't get no entendí the, 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 the word before. <laughs> Solam, people. No, que están invitados a venir, pero solamente algunas personas. <laughs> oh, only some, some, <laughs> okay, some persons, only some. Están invitados, everybody, but only some. <laughs> Only some persons. Okay. Take care, Mario. For example, eh, escuché que dijo, are there many people? When you say, for example, are there, estamos utilizando como pregunta, right? Uh -huh. So you have to do it, la tenemos que hacer como oración. Sería, there are. Okay. 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 Only change okay. that. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mario. Can you okay. take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group, please? Yes, Mario. Lo podemos tomar una capture. Podemos tomar una picture. Okay. Está en WhatsApp. Está en WhatsApp. In WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah. Sí. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mario. Can you share with us maybe um, Alpha? Do you have the the paragraph? Maybe the WhatsApp. Some of you are sharing. Alfa, do you have it? Tengo que leerlo, teacher. Yeah, please. Y la WhatsApp. Yes, please. In my neighborhood, there are two parks. Mm -hmm. And I have private surveillance. The neighborhood mm -hmm. is very illuminated in the night. Mm -hmm. Her location is in Le Escalón. Mm -hmm. Nearby there is a supermarket mm -hmm. and gas station. Mm -hmm. eh, hasta ahí escribí, teacher. 
Ah, ok, ok. Add, agreguemos, add more information. Try to add more information, ok? More Más información. Inf yes, please, more information. Ok. Ok, thank you. I'm reading Raquel, for example. It says, my house is beautiful and, ok. El Raquel, where is Raquel? Where is Raquel? Say yo, Amanda. <laughs> ok, Amanda, uh, I'm going to go over yours y vamos a ver cómo podemos mejorar the paragraph. It says, my family is beautiful. Oh no, my house is beautiful and located in much happy city. Full of flowers and many plants. Ok, podemos quitar ahí match in a happy city. Siempre nos quedamos solo con in a happy. Ok. In a happy city. Or in a friendly place también, vamos a decir. Uh -huh. Friendly place. In my city, the, ok, pollution es una palabra incontable. Entonces vamos a utilizar there isn't. There isn't much pollution. Okay. Sí. Sí. See, there are a lot of people. Okay, very good. Tratemos de agregar more, Amanda. Okay, more information, right? Okay, guys, time is over. Les pediría que completemos that section in el WhatsApp. Voy a tratar de eh, revisárselos and that you can check lo que podamos mejorar. Okay, guys, if you don't have questions, I will say goodbye and have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao. Bye bye, Amanda. See you.